My name is Alicia Lewis, and today I'll be discussing my thesis topic, At What Age Can Autism Spectrum Disorder Be Determined? Okay, I've come up with uh, certain questions that I'm going to answer with this thesis topic, like what are the signs of autism spectrum disorder, what causes autism, how is autism diagnosed, how do you test one for autism, and how does autism affect the person, what are the treatments of autism, and is autism curable? Is and how is autism being researched? Okay, and with and with this topic, I'll I'll answer these questions very thoroughly and in detail. But what I've come up with is that at the age of three months, children start showing signs of autism. These signs. These signs are. Um, like the, if the baby isn't responding to loud noises or babbling um, or like following objects, this may be like the earliest sign of autism. And at seven months, if the baby isn't smiling or reaching for things, this also may be a sign of autism. Okay. Um, at 12 months, if the baby hasn't started to crawl or say in single words, that's when the child should really be examined. And at 24 months, if the child isn't walking or knows like 15 words or more or can push toys, then it's definitely a sign of autism. So that's like the earliest, you know, signs of autism. That's the earliest that um, I've come up with that a child can be diagnosed with autism. Um, some fun facts about autism is that it is more likely found in boys than girls. Um... Race doesn't um, play a factor in autism. Um, some say that vaccines cause a child to have autism, but it's, there's nothing that's proven that. I also have I've done an art I've read an article that talks about that. That's in my um, annotated bibliography. Um. I think that's about it. I think that's about all I have for you today. I will be further in my research, and um, I will let y'all know more about this. <laughs> y'all have a good day.